Hi guys, in a previous video I promised I'd do a tear down of this little clockwork or pullback toy. It's clockwork in that you're supposed to have a key that fits in there and winds it up. As it winds it up it pushes that little lever in and that acts as a ratchet so that when you've wound it up it doesn't release until you press the back window there and away it goes. So we'll have a look inside. This has got triangular screw heads and I happen to have a screwdriver that quite a while ago I ground down to fit this sort of screw. I do have a set of adapters somewhere but this is convenient. I think I had to make this screwdriver originally because it was one of those ones where you needed to get in a long way and the adapters have only got short shanks, don't go in very far. Just trying to think, what do we call this? Do we call it clockwork? Do we call it pullback? Or wind up, yeah, wind up toy car. Right, that seems to be hooked on there. At right, this end. How do we get it apart? Oh, that definitely clips over there. Yeah, that's going to go over there, okay. There we go. Right, so do we see any more? Not really. Uh, is that going to come apart? Oh, it is. Those two screws there are holding that part of the body on. There we are. So we've got the spring motor at the front there. And if I wind that backwards, take the hair off it. Ah, right, you need to push that lever down. I have to keep my fingers on it. All right. So that gear, so we turn the, well, let's start over there. The axle has got a gear on it there. Can we see that? Yeah, I think we can. Axle's got a gear on it there. That gear turns this gear, which happens to be a crown gear. Got the teeth facing that way. On the back of that, we've got that gear. That gear turns that gear, that gear turns that gear, and that's going to be winding up the spring. If we can hold it all in place. happens. We're going to have to take it right apart aren't we to see what else happens because this green bit of plastic here is the peg that goes all the way through and that clearly does some sort of alignment. Okay what's going to happen if we lift this off? Is the spring going to go horrible? No it hasn't. Right, that along the bottom there 
looks like teeth, but it's, well it is teeth, but it's a ratchet. Let's put that down for a minute. Which that fit there, that aligns with that ratchet. So that green piece of plastic there is what's putting the ratchet in and out. Other than that, this fits fairly straightforward. Yeah, so that's the gear on the axle. That turns this gear and that small gear. Actually, we're talking in the reverse because if you wind it up properly, you won't be turning this backwards. It's all the other way around. That gear turns that gear and that gear turns the axle. Hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm showing it to you in reverse because I haven't got the key to wind it up. So I'm winding it up using the wheels. But if you had the right gear, you'd be winding the spring up from here. Here. So that, I assume, let's pull that all off there like that. That's interesting, I've never seen one that does that. Pulls the spring off and winds it up around a separate interesting. done that the opposite way to the way it would normally go. Yeah, I reckon it goes that way. Yeah, that's putting a bit more spring into it now. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen one like that. It takes the spring off there and winds it onto there. And this is the bit. doing something with that ratchet there. that up, that pushes the detent, I think that's called, this way and that will catch on those teeth there. Can we get that in place? Oh, don't want that to fall off. actually see that in operation. I don't think we'll see it. If I push that up, that little green lever flicks across. Can we see it? I don't think we've got enough light. This is what we're trying to look at, this one in here. But that's flicking across and detaining, it's a detent, the teeth on the bottom of that gear. So that goes like that. 
that one connects there to there and that little spring where was that clearly that was on there did it go around there I don't remember So what did that go against? Can't be anything up under there. Or can it? I just got a feeling that goes around. I have to watch the video back so I can see where that came from. Because I don't think. Oh, it might have come from all the way over there. That looks, that looks about right, doesn't it? If I can get the top back on, we'll find out. That clearly does something as well. Oh, do I need to take it apart so I can see what that does? Is that just so you could get the top off? I'm going to put it back together like it is now. winding up. Push that to tent in place. Press that. Have my finger on the bottom of it. Push that up again. Wind it up. That's working. I can't quite figure out what that did. I reckon that is just to release it. So I'll put the screws back in. Nothing on there that tells you who makes this. No manufacturer's name. I'll leave those screws out for a minute. Let's just see if that does what I said. Pop that into there. Yeah, that's all that is. <laughs> I struggled to get it off and that's all I needed to do. 
I expect you've got replaceable body shells. I expect that's what that's all about. Or when it hits something, the body shell flies off. It's another possibility. Right, well that's it. All back together, or it will be when I put the screws in. I'll give it a quick run up the kitchen floor. I've done a couple of test runs and it shoots off to the left, so I'm going to have to angle it so we get a curve around to the camera. That worked. Still got a bit of power. So there we are. Job done.